All right, so this is just a quick story from when I was practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu when I was, I think, 15. So my dad heard about it, I think, just, I, I don't know, he just heard about it. And so he wanted to give it a try, and I was around 15 at this time, and my brother was, I think, 13, 14, I'm not quite sure. But we decided to do it together, you know, me, my brother, and my dad. So we stroll up to the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu place and we practice it for a bit. And after around, I think, two sessions, we tried to go at least once a week, twice a week. Uh, after around two sessions, uh, my brother, who, my brother, he decided he wanted out. So he was like, eh, yeah, this isn't for me. I'm out of here. So he, he was gone. So now it's just me and my dad. I wasn't really that much into it, but... I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a few more, a few more like times. I'll give it a few more rounds. Uh, so a month goes by of doing it once a week. So really like four times, five times. And then I go to my dad and same thing like my brother. And I'm like, hey, dad, uh, this is not really my deal. Can I quit? And my dad was like, no. I was like, w wait, what are you talking about? He was like, you're not going to. No, you can't. You need to be doing something. And you're not going to be sitting on your butt playing video games all day. So you're going to be doing this jujitsu thing. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Um, all right, but you let Davis quit. What about him? And I didn't actually get an answer until a while later, but that goes into a separate story. But anyways, so now I'm doing jujitsu, but I'm not happy about it. And I, and I don't like it. I still show up because it's my dad and he tells me what to do. And also he feeds me and blah, blah, blah. He's my parent. So... I'm showing up at jiu-jitsu and as part of the things we do at jiu-jitsu is I mean oh I didn't mean to hit the mic um you're supposed to do free rolls at like the end of each session um so you know you have the first like learning the move the instructor teaches you and then you do like drills where you practice in the specific position and then you get free rolls at the end where you just do whatever it is you want. Just two guys standing on the mat, three, two, one, fight. And you, you just do jujitsu. So I got paired up. So during one of these times, I got paired up with a girl I think was around 16, 16, 15 at the time. 16, 15, maybe 19 at the time. Older than me, but not that much. And, you know, when you're you're doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with a girl, it's always a little uncomfortable just because of the gender difference. So, but, you know, I, w I wasn't paying too much mind to it. You know, it's it's Jiu-Jitsu. I don't really care who my practitioner is or whoever I'm going up against. I just, you know, it's just Jiu-Jitsu, professional. But the problem is I'm a white belt and I think just like my second month doing it. So like my eighth time practicing. So I... I, I didn't even know how to like tie my belt at this point. <laughs> I was just I was just showing up, getting my butt beat. This is part of the reason why I didn't really like it because you just show up and you get your butt handed to you, and you're not really tapping anyone. So I'm just sad. Um, but anyways, so I go. I think she was a blue belt at this time. Um, but she, we were around the same sort of size, same sort of weight. So we decided to rule together, and I actually got paired with her. Because the professor was like, you, you, roll. So I'm like, all right, shoot, I guess we're rolling. And to 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 dumb it down for people who don't know jujitsu, there's this submission I just learned called the guillotine. And basically it's sort of like a the reverse thing of that schoolyard like headlock where you wrap your arm around their throat. And then you just kind of like punch them, except you're not allowed to punch in Brazilian jujitsu. So I was trying to do like sort of like a reverse of that where you choke them by putting their arm in your head and i jumped we were both standing right and i sort i sort of saw an opening so like i wasn't completely clueless to the brazilian jiu-jitsu rules so i saw an opening for a guillotine so i jumped up wrapped my arm around her neck and i started trying to cinch up the guillotine and one of the things I heard about the guillotine is that when you actually have it, like 
the best way to finish it is to fall back into full guard, which basically means wrap your legs around them. So wrap your legs around them while holding on to the choke and then finish it from there. I, I had no idea what finish it meant. I just thought squeeze, which, spoiler alert, no. You don't just squeeze, they actually take some technique. But anyways, I digress. So, I grab the guillotine, and because I'm an idiot, I and I don't understand how gravity works, I decide to fall back, but while still holding the guillotine, and I kind of forget that, you know, I have a head wrapped around my arm. <laughs> And so I end up WWE slamming this girl's head directly into the mat. With like, like I, I weighed around this time like 120 pounds. I was a skinny kid, 15 years old. Uh, she was like 120 pounds, maybe a little bit over. So imagine all that weight crashing down onto onto your forehead. Yeah, that was that was bad. We immediately stopped the roll because she started crying and I got really really sad. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean, you know, it's jujitsu. You're not trying to hurt anyone. So I felt really really bad about it. And I was like, "Oh crap." And afterwards, after the class was over, I walked up to her and I said, "Hey, I'm sorry. Um, I, this was my first ever time uh, doing jujitsu, and she she was like, "Yeah, yeah, it's fine." Fr Freaking idiot! No, she didn't say that, <laughs> but but I uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame her if she did because I I was a, kind of an idiot doing that. But anyways, yep, that's the story of how I got traumatized. I, this probably, I mean, I'm making it about me because because. Whatever, I'm, it's just a story. It's just a story. I, I just wanted to do something. Also, I wanted to try out this new uh, salmonella type video. So, anyways, that's about it. Subscribe, bye.